Um, my name is Joost Balieu. I'm with Pineman Equipment. We make tools for heat exchanger cleaning. Heat exchanger inside and outside cleaning. We're going to show you two machines with water and one machine without water today. Tomorrow we're going to do those two machines with water and this one without water. Just to save some time. Uh, the first machine we're going to show you today is this new tool. It's a scissor lift lens cleaner. This machine runs with five rigid lenses and is designed to clean heat exchangers in place um, with a wireless remote control. The machine will go up to 20 feet high and has five rigid lenses of 33 feet long. So you can clean most heat exchangers in place just standing from a safe, di safe distance with a wireless remote control. We're just going to show you now how the machine moves up and down, how you can move the whole lens bed forwards and backwards to get closer to your exchanger, and then we're actually going to clean a few tubes on this heat exchanger. So I'll give the signal to my colleague. All right, the machine has two speed settings. This is the slow setting, which is a good speed to actually work and index on your tubes. There's a fast setting to let it go up all the way very quickly and then cho change the speed to slow. Right now we've reached the uh, maximum height. You can see we're moving left and right with the lances. The drive on this machine here at the front is a TLE drive. For the people who don't know what a TLE is, it's a flex lens machine, which we've converted to a rigid lens machine. It's hydraulic driven. It uses tracks with chains to feed the lenses in and out. So it actually pulls the lenses and pushes it in the tubes. So with this system, it's almost impossible to bend your lenses. Right, we can um, you move the lenses, lens bed forward, Sam. You see, we can extend three meters or 10 feet because you sometimes need to go over a scaffold inside a heat exchanger channel head to clean it out. All right, you bring it back, Sam. So we're gonna bring it back, we're gonna bring it down and we're gonna actually clean a few uh, tubes for you. That's just to show you the fast and slow setting of the machine. Okay. Move it a bit closer. You see, with the wireless remote control, we can easily get the machine to where we want it to be. We can move it a little closer to the tube sheet or further back. We can very easily move left and right and up and down. The uh, drive is all hydraulic. It's got its own diesel engine in the back. You see, if you uh, hit a tube that's plugged or you hit a tube sheet, it doesn't matter. The machine will just stop. It's never going to bend your lenses. Michael, pressure? Yeah. Go. Just go, Sam.
All right, move up, yeah. Okay, what you've just seen, we actually indexed under pressure. So a guy can stand safely away with the riders remote control. He can easily index the machine and he can keep the pump under pressure, index under pressure. Right now we're gonna move the machine a little bit out of the way to make some room for the shell side cleaner that we're gonna demonstrate next with high pressure water. So in the meantime, as they change the hoses, I'll take you to the other side where we have a, a new flexible lens cleaner. The pieces weigh about 20 pounds each, so one guy can easily take three parts to the exchanger, clamp it on a shelf flange, and then run the machine. You got a control here, which is pneumatic, so we can feed the hoses in and bring it back in. And then we can index it up and down and left and right. Now the good thing about this tool is that you have only three pieces when the remote control makes four and a single guy can set this up in 10 minutes on an exchanger. You can bring these parts in a small truck, small pickup truck or even with your pump, bring it to a job site and do all the work by yourself. You don't have to bring a big frame, you don't have to arrange for a crane, you don't have to uh, get a forklift to put it in place. Everything can be done by hand. Can you? Uh We'll just show you now how to remove the uh, two LTC. It's got little toggle switches here at the front and the back. So we just open the toggle switches and we just take the machine off. That's how simple it is. If you want to remove the machine, you just move it out all the way to the left and you have two individual pieces. One piece here and this one here. So you can easily set it up. With these clamps here, you can attach it to a tube sheet, but normally you would use this machine in situ, so you'd have like a channel uh, flange with bolt holes where you attach it to. The pitch of the tubes is different on each exchanger. So with this machine, we have a pitch that's adjustable here. You have a pitch control. And this machine is also very suitable to use for uh, fin fans, air fin coolers. Air fin coolers have a typical wider pitch because they got blades around the tubes. So we have a different tool, which is a 2LTC fin fan with a wider pitch to do the air fin coolers. Both have the same type of uh, adapter plate at the bottom so they can be interchanged. We have that tool inside the booth with the wider pitch setup, so you can have a look at it. Ready? Okay, the next machine we're gonna show you today is the shell side cleaner. Uh, the shell side cleaner is a machine which is uh, lightweight, it weighs only two ton, so a small forklift can actually pick it up, put it on a trailer and, y and off you go. You don't have to uh, buy a complete trailer with your shell side, it's small and portable. We use a Stone Age rotating head, which is an SG50, which flows approximately 50 gallons um, at 15,000 psi. You can control the speed of the head and you actually clean a pattern, like a surface. So you clean everything in between the distance of those two nozzles. Okay, are we ready for our water? Now you might want to stand back a little bit because this exchanger has not been cleaned in a long, long time. So there might be some dirty water coming off the bundle.
like this one, will be turned on the smaller rollers inside the frame. If you have a big bundle, it will automatically turn on the rollers on the outside. So you never have to change the distance between your two rollers. It's got lifting uh, points here for a crane. It's got forklift slots, so you can actually easily pick it up with a forklift. We try to think about everything that you encounter in the field. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your attention. R promise to keep it short, give the other guys a possibility to uh, do their demos, but thank you for your attention.